Hello, it's Evil Uno, and today we are in Newark, New Jersey, for AEW Dynamite and AEW Rampage, and also AEW Elevation. We tape a lot in a single day. I go right back to Canada tomorrow, and then Friday will be a 12-hour stream for Wrestling With Cancer, Fighting Back, a charity event we run every single year, with every single dollar donated to the Canadian Cancer Society. So this Friday will be a 12-hour marathon stream every single dollar to the Canadian Cancer Society and then Saturday will be the joint wrestling event that goes along with it fighting back wrestling with cancer what will I be doing there I have absolutely no idea no one knows because the card is not announced but Saturday the first show in Ottawa in over two years uh, or roughly almost two years almost two years not a whole two years but almost two years and uh, it's gonna be a very important one because uh, this is the charity event that I give my all to every single year so, if that wasn't enough, Mrs. Uno's birthday is also on September 19th, which is the day after all of this. So, going to be pretty packed vlog. Let's not wait any further. Let's go see whom on, uh, on AEW Dynamite I can get uh, to talk to me on cam for a little bit of time, if anyone. Bye-bye! That's right, big guest on the vlog, it's John Silver! Hey! What's up? How's it going, John? It's going good. It's going good. Hey, uh, every single week I talk to people about the recent games they've been playing, and I know that you are a little virtual boy. I am. I uh, got an Oculus because of the game The Room. And uh, we play a lot of escape rooms. We do a lot of sense. escape rooms. So as you may know, a lot of escape rooms you play. So the room I played, loved it. I played once. I did one little thing. I was really good at it. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll drop what three, four hundred dollars on this tomorrow. So that's exactly what I did. And John, oh, Eddie Kingston just throws stuff at me because he's yeah. You know, Eddie Kingston's a freak. I'll tell you that. A real freak. Uh, but. Bought the room. I bought. I expect you to die one and two. I haven't played the second one. Have you played the second one? I played the second one. I think I liked it better. No, I think I liked the first one better. Mm, I liked uh, the first one a lot. A and lot. then I played Red Matter. So they're all very like puzzly escape game type stuff. Uh, I thought they were all a lot of fun. I think uh, the room was my favorite. Then the two I expect you to die. I think Red Matter is my least least favorite, but it was also fun. So if y'all out there have VR suggestions for one John Silver or myself, because I have VR as well, please do. I need uh, suggestions, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the closer to escape room, the better. Closer to escape room is better. I have Xbox too, but I feel like I play the same four game, three games, Madden, mm -hmm. UFC, and PUBG. All right, let's, three games I play. John, let's get into it. What do, what do you think about the new Madden? To be honest, it's not that great. Uh, I feel like the one problem they've had in the last like five men's is on defense, you throw the, so when they throw the ball to someone, I switch my player, obviously hoping I would get the closest player to that ball, mm -hmm. and it's not that, so I'll be someone down the field, and then I'll try to tackle, but I'm not that person, so my guy just flies around the field. So what does it detect, like based on directional? I don't exactly, I have no idea why it does Weird. That, 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 but it's annoying. Uh, some of the running is not as good as the last game, the running plays. Uh, I feel like also on defense, is a random thing. On defense, for some reason, every time I tackle their guys, they still get like five yards after I tackle them. But when I get tackled, it's really right You're there. instant, yeah, instant. I, don't get me wrong, I'm still winning all my games, but that annoys the shit out of me. Well, thank you, John, for the update on your video games, and uh, I will see you 
on an escape room very soon, I'm sure. Uh -huh. oh. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 424 pounds, Allen five, Angels and Dark Order number 10. And their opponents at a combined weight of 471 pounds, the team of Evil Uno and Colt Boom Boom Cabana. Allen Five wanted Uno to get the tag in. He got him, and Uno now getting. Oh, there you go. Well, now they're fighting. He's trying to get those shots in. And they're still trying. See, uh, this doesn't work. It's show business, not friend business. I got oh, it. No, nice low pay there. Guys, the man is they need leadership. See? see? I get it, but it, they still need leadership. This shouldn't be happening. Maybe you should lead them. All right? Maybe you should go in there. Oh, oh, what a spine buster. Oh, wow. My man is jacked. Brother. Get his own partner that time. Oh, Cabana. Oh, with a flying apple and a big elbow. You like that, don't you? Is he trying to take off the mask? Oh, that's just. He took the mask off of Allen Fife. Unmask his own. That was by teammate. mistake. That was by mistake. Was it, though? Was it? Oh, though? he slapped the taste out of his mouth. Oh, yes. Where's your compassion? Where's your soul? One, there it is. two. Dark Order number 10 and Allen 5, Angel. <laughs> What's going on here? He's backing off? Why are you backing off? Because he knows he's wrong. Oh, wait. That's a hand of friendship, Uno. Take, it. take it. Take it. Listen to the Take the hand of friendship. Don't take it. Don't take it. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Wow. Let it all burn. Bad move. Bad move. Let it burn. Luther. How's it going? It's going good. How are you? Yeah, it's going great. I, I will say. I was I, just about to yell. I, 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 I had a habit. I saw you do the tongue thing, and I thought for sure, wow, he's going to hold the high pitch voice this whole time. But it's very echoey in here. It's just me and you, and it would have blown your ears yeah, out. I really can't afford to do that. I've been listening to loud music this whole week, and I don't there know if go. I could do that as well. Rock out with your... God, I'm not saying go. it. I'm not going to say it. You know, I was just talking with someone, and, and when I saw you, I got reminded, uh, I was talking in the back. And every time someone says, hey, you're from Canada. I was like, yeah, I'm from Calgary. And they're like, hey, do you know Tom? And I was I like, guess, Tom? I, hey, he's that. From, I was like, Tom? Like, yeah, from Toronto. Do you know that Calgary and Toronto are like opposite so, ends of the country? If you like, don't know this, viewer, uh, Canada's the second largest country huge. in the world. Uh, uh, when you ask us if we know Steve from up north, <laughs> we know a Steve, but we don't know your Steve. It's too ginormous in Canada. It, that's such a common yeah. question, though. But you probably have got, yeah, you the, got the same thing, and I just got it again. I'm like, oh, Tom from Toronto? Oh, yeah, I know Tom. You know, the crazy thing back. is, like, so we've never met until AEW. Never met a single time before, though. Never. Never. And I heard of you, and um, maybe you heard of me? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Smash Brothers. There you go. Hey! There was a reason I brought you in today, because you also have a vlog of sorts, and it's Two. called... Luther's World of Cryptids and... Ghosts and the Unexplained. And I got a new one coming out soon called Luther's World of Serial Killers. Ooh, I'm a and big serial killer fan. on the same site, Luther's World... I don't have a super title yet, but it's going to be Luther's World of the Day and the Chaos, which oh. is kind of like a vlog for me and Serpentico. Oh, so it'll be like a day... Oh! I just sort of feel you guys are going to initiate your own vlog? Yeah. I'm super interested in that. I, I, I will say... You guys, uh, and this this is uh, inside baseball, but you are my favorite act on AEW. You oh, guys and you. Brandon Cutler, which I, I find you. you guys do the best stuff. We're like the comedian's comedian. The wrestler's wrestler. They, they the like goons. The yeah. I love me some goons. TV goons. That's, That's what we are. So, yeah, on my show, we have um, ghost stories, UFO stories, cryptid Bigfoot, stuff like that. And it, the first half of the show is if you have a tale and the, I'll have the people tell their own story. Mm -hmm. You've been on it. That's right. Been I'm on, on it. episode 10. Uh, we have the same story. You should watch it. It's creepy. And you know what the creepy thing was? Uh, you guys should watch it. I, I interviewed them both different times, a couple weeks apart, and their stories are identical. Mm -hmm. That's because we lived it together. It was terrifying. It's crazy. I, I don't, I don't want to ruin the story. You should check out Luther's Luther's <laughs> World of... Of Cryptids and Ghosts and the Unexplained, yeah. correct? Yeah. Aha! And if you just go on to YouTube and write Luther's World of, that'll show up. I will also annotate it down below so that you can go and check out his vlog. Uh, his new vlog coming up, 
Will that also be on the same address? Yeah, everything's gonna be, I'm just gonna keep everything simple, keep everything on the same address and just change the Perfect. Uh, headings on there. Now, uh, do you have a story you wanna read or should we you just? You know, I'm going to tell a story. Ooh, all right. That happened to me. To you? Yes. Okay, do tell. Okay. So, I had an apartment I lived in for a while that used to be an old folks home for many, many, many years. So this was a super old building, all concrete, you know, and it being from Canada, you know, in the winter time, it's cold outside. Oh, very cold. It's cold outside. Freezing. So you do not have the windows open. Ooh. You do not have your front door open at nighttime. It's, it's freezing. Since this was an old building, there's one outlet for the cable. So anybody that would live there would always probably have their TV in the same spot. Always have your couch in the same spot. So where my TV was, whoever was there 30 years ago. Never change it. Probably had it in the same spot. Almost every night, at least four nights a week, I'd be up late, you know, playing video games, stuff like that. So I would be sitting on my couch at least three, four, five nights a week. And at nighttime, you'd get cigarette smoke. You could smell cigarettes, like hmm. straight up cigarettes. I'd go into the kitchen, nothing. Go to the other end of the living room, nothing. And th there's nothing coming from outside because the windows, the doors, everything's shut. But I even one time went outside to look, maybe someone's out in the patio. Our, my next door neighbor was this really, really old lady, like in her 90s. Mm -hmm. She's not out there smoking at three in the morning. She shouldn't be at the very least. No. no. So there's no one outside, I go back in, it's just in that one spot. So all I could think of was whoever used to live there, that's where they had their couch and they would probably smoke. Because I don't smoke, so there should be no cigarettes. Of course. And you couldn't see it anywhere, but that is just the start of the tale. So I knew something was weird. Anyways, where my bed was, I could see out into the living room, into the hallway that goes into the bathroom, and my door is open. My girlfriend's sitting next to me, she, you know, we got our TV going, that she's on her laptop and I'm reading. You know how you, like, you have everything in your house going want, at the same one time? One room, yes, of course. You know? So I'm reading a book. I know I read books, isn't that weird? I still do actively. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a big reader in general. I haven't read a good book in a while though, I will say. That's it, you know, Serpentu got me books for Christmas though. So oh, very nice. Guy. Very yeah. nice. Cause I like to read. So I'm reading, she's on her, she's on their computer doing stuff. And you know, when you're reading, you can kind of still see sort of things to the side or over the book, like yes. around. I see what I think was a guy walk into the bathroom down the hallway into the bathroom. Now, in my house, like I said, it's an old place, so when the front door would creak, whenever you open it, and nobody came in the front door. Mm. Like, no one came in our, in our house. Yet, I'm thinking, I just saw a dude walk into the bathroom, but I don't hear anything. But I put my book down and I'm like looking and listening. But I don't hear anything, don't see anything, no one walked back out. And my girlfriend's like, what's wrong? But I don't want to freak her out or sound like a, you know. A crazy person, yeah. of course. So I was like, oh, nothing. So I put my book back up, but I'm actually like looking past toward the bathroom. And she's like, what are you, what's, what are you doing? What's wrong? And I was like, nothing, nothing. I was like, just do you, you know, go back to your computer. And I do it again. And she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, and I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think I made you saw something. And she goes, that guy walk in the bathroom. Boom. Oh, this is exactly like what happened to me and Stu. As soon as you mentioned it, they know exactly what's I'm going on. I'm getting goosebumps talking to Thinking about it. So I was like, yes. And she's like, so right away, as soon as she said that, now I'm not gonna freak her out because she already saw the same thing at the same time. So I'm not crazy, unless we're both crazy. We weren't drinking, we weren't doing drugs, nothing. So I get up, I go check in the bathroom. No one's in there, nothing's in there. I can't find anything. I come back in, I go, so what? I was like, what the hell? And she's like, I've seen it tons of times since we've lived here. I go, what? Because I've never seen, seen, saw anything. She's like, I just didn't want to tell you. Like, I didn't want to see. Didn't want to scare you. Yeah, or seem like I'd be like, make fun of her. Even though I wouldn't because this is like what I'm totally into. Mm -hmm. She's like, I've seen him before. And like one time you left at 4.30 in the morning, I, I was going somewhere. She said she woke up and she saw someone at the end of the bed just standing there staring at her and she thought it was me and she said that it wasn't me so she put the blanket back up over her head and when she looked back later it was gone. Ugh. Boom. The only other thing that really happened weird to me one time I came in, same place and all my cat cupboards were open. And the cat? I didn't have a cat. No, okay. I didn't have a cat, didn't have a dog, nothing. I didn't have so any the, animals. Hmm. But the cupboards were all open and I was like, 
doubt she would have opened all of them. And kept them open? Probably yeah, not. Yeah, like, if you were gonna do that, it'd be one, like, oh, I'm getting a coffee cup. And then you forget, that was my elbow. That felt really good. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm gonna no sell it. And then just totally sell the shit out of it later. <laughs> off screen. Um, off screen. <laughs> Uh, so like, you know, if you're going to grab one cup, you maybe would forget one open. Mm. There's no way you're going to leave six open. Of course. No way. But, um, that was the only kind of weird stuff. And then we did some spirit box stuff in there that some... Did it actually work? Yeah. So oh. we, had, we got a couple weird things so, happening. So I know you've invited me to this before, but we were talking about staying in a haunted hotel at one yes. point and, and doing spirit box You know, stuff. I just got a text. He said there's a house that's super haunted in New York. And I'm definitely taking you out ghost hunting this year sometime. Are you okay with me vlogging? Heck yeah. Then definitely we're in. Because I'll probably bore some of your footage to put on my show. Perfect. This is how it works. This is how we're the sharing. vlog universe works. sharing is caring. That's right. Us Canadians care about each other. Thank you, Mr. Luther. Boom. It's Friday. Did not show you a whole lot of yesterday's day. Thursday was mostly a travel day, and uh, I will be honest. Uh, it's been a while since me and Mrs. Uno had a day to ourselves, so we didn't do a whole lot. Nothing that was worthy of the vlog. Uh, I played some video games and relaxed. Uh, today's a big day, because today is the first of our festivities for fighting back wrestling with cancer. Today is a 12-hour marathon Twitch stream with my friends from New Legacy Inc., plus all kinds of guests. I'm sure it will be a good, good time. Some might even say it will be a party. All right, see you soon. Uh, oh, he's holding on. How is he still? Wow. How is he he's doing that? On. How is he doing that? That's that is wild. Wild. He's still there. Wow. Oh, he broke free. He got free! Oh, oh no, he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. What? What's what? happening? Thousand dollar donation! Uh, how much? What? 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 Drive. How much? Oh no, I gotta see! I gotta give you the overdrive! dollars <laughs> What? What? Wait, $300,000? You're so quiet. Time for bed. You wanna go to bed? Nothing. It's Saturday, Mrs. Uno! It's Saturday! We're going to Fighting Back Part 2. We actually did a 12-hour stream yesterday. It was very exhausting. How was the experience for you? Uh, exhausting, but awesome. Yes. Absolutely was... amazing. Well worth it, over 81,000 US dollars. 82,000, I think we hit, officially. Uh, I don't know what the actual last number is, and honestly, we won't know until probably Monday, because today's show also goes towards that giant donation, and it's Fighting Back, a completely mystery show in Ottawa, here in the local area. Close, and very close. Very close. Uh, we have not seen a lot of our friends that we will see today in almost a year and a half. Uh, the first show in Ottawa in quite some time. So let's not uh, let's not delay this any further. Shall we go, Mrs. Una? Okay.
centralized. Stu Grayson's offense momentarily with that foot stop, but just the tag team expertise of the dark order. Oh, he caught him around the waist. Oh! German suplex. Distracted as Flores and Vertigo looking to get the advantage. Oh. Showing why indeed they are four multiple time uh, C4 tag team champions. What's this? Oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh, springboard. I do catch them. Nightfall coming. Drops him to Uno. The scoop. Oh. 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 Takes him down. Gets caught. What's this? Yeah. Sends him over. Oh, Stu with the catch. Oh, oh. 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 Cyclone in the DDT. Standing shooting star for us. Whoa. Oh, the luck blower into the Swanton bomb. Shades of Geoff Hardy. Cover hooks the leg. Oh, we're going to break it up. I can see a match like this taking place on television on Wednesday nights easily. Spinning kick on the apron. Here comes Grayson. Whoa! I'll throw. Oh! One kick. We embrace for the Canadian Cancer Society this year unofficially. It's Sunday, Mrs. Uno, and you know what that means? It's my birthday! It's your birthday! Yay! We were actually gonna plan to do uh, something on your birthday for the stream, uh, uh, a, a Twitch stream of source. And we are Twitch streaming today. Uh, if you wanna go check out the uh, VOD of that, twitch.tv slash evil uno, we played Among Us with our AEW friend. Uh, but a big weekend for us because uh, we- Huge! Had, huge! Huge! We had fighting back. We raised uh, over 105,000 Canadian dollars. So far. So far, they are still calculating. Uh, Mr. Uno, do you have any parting words before we head out uh, for today? Thank you to everybody who wished me a happy birthday. I really appreciate it. Yeah. If, if you want to get me a birthday present, it might be too late now, but you can donate to Fighting Back. <laughs> Fighting-back.ca if you want to drop a donation. Hopefully it will still be open. And uh, thank you to everyone who donated and supported us uh, throughout this weekend. Um, shall we not and go away? We shall. Hell yes. These are just open. What do you sell these for? <laughs> uh oh. I know, I'm also considering this. I've been toying with these Playmate Simpson figures for a while. Yeah, I've seen so. them so many times, and each time I'm like, you know, there's only a few things I love dearly in my life, and The Simpsons is one of them. That, so many characters and figures. That's and the issue. Scenes. So it's the same so thing cool. with Batman. I want to get into the Batman stuff, but even if I start one line, I know I'm gonna end up starting another, and then another, and then another, and then. You got some more in here too. Oh. oh. <laughs> Dude. Dude. The playset too. Dude. Oh no. Dude, that's a ten dollar difference for a set. That's that's pretty good. Oh, what am I gonna? No, stop it. Oh, do they have the bus? You can get a Lenny figure, it's just insane. Yeah. yeah. How many are there? Oh my God, there's like 30 figures. And this might not even be all of them. For yeah. sure. And then they all have pieces that you can put together to make a whole city. Yeah. There's a Gill figure? 
Wow, we're, we're going deep. We're going Let's go deep. Sue. Dude, they got blue haired lawyer and Wendell. I think I need blue haired lawyer. Yeah, like that's. Oh that's, yeah, you definitely do. That's Can I get obscure. All lawyer figures. Yes. Yes. That's that's a great collection to have. Dude, there's an extra thirty listed right here that were on the first package. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's such a cool wine. Okay, this might... See, now you say it's a, like it's a bad thing. I love wine. So I, yeah. here's the thing. I know me. I'm probably... Well, no, I take it back. I'll probably complete this, but I'll, it'll probably take me two years, which oh, I guess that's is the part fun. of the fun. That's the fun, yeah. Is, if yeah. I'm going to be coming to these toy figure hunts, at least I'll have something to look for. Exactly. Right? All right. <laughs> One more converted. Yeah, I'm not going to start... I'm not starting... Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want to hear I the nonsense. I just want side boys for now. You sure, know, sure, sure. Sad, crusty gill... Uh, Bumblebee man. Oh my god, Lenny. Let's see what else they got. Oh, Pat here you go. Tony. Kent Brockman. Kent Brockman, Fat oh. Tony. Look at this two pack. Oh my god, this is. Dude, they even come with stands behind them. I know, this is. Th and look at look at everything you get, too. Like all the accessories and stuff. Is that a Treehouse of Horror one? Yes. Yep. Oh, the Treehouse of Horror ones are great. Dude. Dude, holy shit. Uh, why? Voice activation. That's Marge. Oh, that's so sweet and tasty. That's. Oh my god. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, alright, I'm picking at least one or two. Let's, <laughs> let's make. Oh, here's the hero figure set. They got Xena in here. Hmm. Here, pass me anything if you need to. Here, I'm, I'm taking that pen. You're gonna take it? Yeah. Big fat Tony fan. And you know what? And sad crusty. Ah, screw it. Kill it. And kill. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> squeaky teen. I don't have a bag to ship. So you say you can ship this for me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, let yeah. we'll do okay. Um give me, I'm, I'm gonna think about this one. Definitely getting those three right now. Dude, that's the iconic street. You could set it up, uh, you could start you displaying. Don't it. You dare. Look at look at you got two you got ways four. to set it up. Oh, this bends? If you can hold on to them, okay, yeah, let's do that. We'll do, do that. We'll do I'll take that place set. Oh, I'll take the place set. Dude, yeah, <laughs> from nothing to attitude. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry, Mrs. Uno. I know, <laughs> I know. But this is why we make money, so I could buy Simpson action figures. Yes, that's For my right. basement that is already filled with who knows how many things. Another week, another vlog. Uh, this week we start from New York City here for AEW Grand Slam. It's going to be a heck of an event. We are doing both Dynamite and Rampage and some Elevation matches. Uh, plus, it's the Big Kenny Omega versus Daniel Bryanson match. Super excited. Um, and then, go back to Canada... Only for a few days because I head out to Los Angeles to perform for Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, the mecca of independent professional wrestling. So, um, well, let's uh, go to the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Hi, Eddie. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I didn't want to do her vlog, though. I completely understand. Abby's cause... vlog sucks! That's right, he said it! Sucks! I'm coming, can you want to grab them? Ha! Jack Evans, how are you, my friend? Hi, friends, this is Odd Stova, and uh, I'm doing good, except you invited me to come on here and talk about games. I did. So let's talk about games and who really likes to play games. Okay, tell me more, Jack. 
this man. Mm. This man. He does. See, I have been practicing hour after hour to become a master killer <laughs> in Dead by Daylight, and yet this man refuses to even I answer me after I have politely asked him on Twitter <laughs> time and time again. It's literally again. been four months of constant. Four months of constant. <laughs> and you know why? Because he knows that I'm going to lay my vengeance upon him. Because you know what other games this man likes to play? Are likes you to play this little game <laughs> called Peeless Poutine. Oh, hey, now. You, okay, you, this was about to, this was supposed to be about how's video games, Jack. Yeah, Not yeah, about yeah. how poutines have okay, peas You know, it's supposed to be about games in general. Yes. And uh, this is one of the games you play in life. I don't know what is wrong with him. I think he just does it to be different. <laughs> so I apologize. To all the Canadians in the I'm, world, that this man does not put peas in his poutine. Well, it's got to be peeless. I'm not a pea man. Are you a pea man? No, oh, I'm. Are you telling you're a pea man? Are, oh yes, I put tons of peas in my poutine. Tons of peas in oh, your yeah. poutine. I jam. Peas the more in pea, the better. Yeah, mm. yep, you know what I mean. You just gotta. Well, gotta you know what? That poutine full of peas. I really was gonna give you the time of the day about Dead by Daylight, but now, now that we're talking about. The sanctity of poutine and how it's supposed to be eaten. Yeah, yeah. You have insulted my Canadianness, sir. Well, you're from Quebec. You're kind of. Canadian. I've, I've insulted okay. my own. Okay, okay. all right. So well, have, uh, you know what? Let's make this official. I accept your your, your dead by daylight. We shall do it. All right. Very all soon. Right. We still actually we've just got one on cow shed. That's what it's going to be. Oh, okay. You, you know what that, that means? Cause I have no play, idea. Play, play the, I don't really know either, but I heard people say it online, so you know what I mean. I just got to Well, uh, check it out on Twitch. My, uh, you're also on Twitch, my friend, right? I am, but I can't remember. Cool ass Jack. I cool think. ass Jack. Look, but uh, I don't know Jack the. I'll know. write it down here because I bet you you can't you can't actually remember how it's written. No. Okay, so I will write it right here and uh, be on the lookout because we'll play Dead by Dyla at some point, and there will be no poutine talk. Whatsoever. I think that should be part of the bet. You that want us to talk poutine? If I too? destroy you, what's I have going to have to happen? Pee poutine? Yes, I want a recorded video of okay. you just munching okay. you know what? peas in your poutine. Loser eats the other's poutine. That sounds terrible, but loser leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yes. Thank you, Okay. Jack. okay. <laughs> oh, you're going to be eating my poutine out all day. <laughs> oh, you're going to love it. Ugh.
Dante. How's it going, man? Awesome, how about you? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. We're here at PWG in Los Angeles, and this was your PWG debut. I just watched you have one of the gnarliest six-man tags of all time. Yeah. How, how, what do you think in the, uh, as we had, now that it's happened? It was crazy. I thought that the crowd was like electric. I had some awesome partners in Alex Zane and Jack Cartwheel. It was just, it was insane. Now, uh, uh, was it always a dream for you to do PWG? I, I feel like a lot of people who did the independence, this is like the mecca. Yeah. The sure. place to aim for. PWG was actually the first indie I ever I ever watched. Ever? Yeah, ever. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? A full so show or the music super. videos? Uh, it was the music videos, yeah. but I ended up getting the full shows for my birthday, so. Mm. Good, good job, good <laughs> job. Oh! Hell what yeah! Got here? Hi, Alex, baby! Now yeah. no, we're just missing the Jack Carver. Right. So. Alex Zane, get, get your shit in right uh, now. Uh, I'm Alex Zane. I am the sauce. Body by Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Flavor of the week, the month, the year, the lifetime. That's right. That's it. That's, wow, it. that's, that's me. That, that man knows how to put himself over. I'm, I'm over. over. I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks, Dante, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you at PWG. Watch yeah. it again. Hopefully. Ooh. in Canada. Uh, I, I had a heck of a uh, two-week trip of up and down the roads of America, going back to Canada, going back to America, going back to Canada, back to America. But now I get about 30 hours of home time and then uh, right back to the grind. This week, next vlog, I will be going to Rochester uh, for a big Dynamite and Rampage taping. Then two shows, one in Syracuse, one in Binghamton, both for the 2CW return. We used to be 2CW champs there, myself and Stu Grayson, so it's nice to see um, them make a return, and we get to make a return almost 10 years uh, since our last one. I believe last one might have been 2012, maybe 2011, but it's been quite a long time. The week after, we're off to Philadelphia. Ooh, love me Philly. Uh, spent a lot of times there in my young days. Uh, and then we have a signing at Wrestling Universe in Queens. After that, Milwaukee and a whole lot more AEW. I appreciate you all for coming uh, on today's YouTube vlog. Um, very, very exhausting weeks. Uh, but uh, thank you for sticking around. I'm going to nod and say goodbye. I appreciate all the comments down below. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.